Hello everyone. Now let's check this live case study on the Seagate 2000 LM007, and we can see that this hard drive capacity is zero, and we can check from this family clone. It's AF family, and the firmware is EB01. So let's check further to see how to fix this kind of pension hard drive not firmer version EB01 so this is very new uh, ILM Rosewood hard drive first let's try to uh, back up the ROM by ROM without short And uh, let's check, select this bout rate, LM, then read. Now the program has entered the boot mode and back up the patient ROM. ROM read OK. Next step, let's generate the unlock ROM. Now write this unlock ROM. So users can always check the log window to find out what is happening with the drive. So this one is very helpful. Now we can check from the lock window that the unlock ROM has been written successfully to the pension hard drive. So next, we need to go to SCOM terminal and then power off and power on. Now we can check this unlock handshake value and next step. We just send unlock key. So after sending the unlock key, we can check in the COM terminal. We enter the F3T prompt automatically and Control L, and we can find out the hard drive ID information. And then we can try to 
back up the firmware modules and as well as files. And here we can try to refresh the hard drive status. Now the program is refreshing the hard drive ID details. And let's check again the module list and we can see all the modules are available here. And next we need to back up as well as files. We select the most important ones to back up. As well as 28 reading field. So this means something wrong with the translator. This is why the drive gets the symptom capacity zero. So we can see that the translator is failed. Now the drive is busy and then let's check COM port it's locked again. So right now we need to unlock the drive again power off power on and send unlock key. and switch to AT mode read as well as files and let's try to back up the 35 and check if it is possible or not So 35 cannot be read. That means the engine is to read failure. Now let's check using the COM port to back up and see. Let's try to set the spout rate at a higher level and then we go to the SA operations, edit as well as files. So at least we need to back up this one, 35, so volume 3, COM port 3, 0, Click create. 
So we can see that to back up the SYS files by comport, it is possible, but to back up in the ATM mode, it failed. So sometimes we need to check both methods to make sure at least the engineist can be backed up successfully. Or sometimes we can back up the translator too by this COM mode. Because this one is very important to back up in case something happens in the further operations to cause the partial secret access, we can try to use this one to get the full data error accessible quickly with the original engine list or translator. Now we just need to wait until the ROM The engine is the backup complete. Right now we are backup the engine list here in the com mode. Edit as well as file. This menu, this function is available uh, under the menu SA operations. This client is from Italy and uh, he is using the DFL PCIe data recovery recharge version and we can see that this is remaining time so the client uh, is going to recharge this tool soon to continue use. Now we can see these are the contents of the engine list. We can select all and then export here as well as file, uh, copy zero, and we need to select all files and then we can give it a name. 35.rpm click save so we have back up the end list now we go back to scum terminal and try to check the journeyist it's empty and the end list it's empty now let's try Click. This is to set default, and we can try to regenerate this translator now. We can still find capacity is still zero. After the translator regeneration, we check further and see if this problem has been fixed a lot. Usually, this issue can be fixed by all above operations. Let's wait and check the result.
This is the latest SIGID software uh, from Dolphin Data Lab, and we can see it supports this EP01 AF family properly, and users can easily generate some algorithm and unlock these kind of hard drives, and then fix the possible firmware corruptions. Now we can see the transient regeneration completes. We can switch to ATA mode. And sometimes we usually uh, untick this one and keep these settings here. This one is sometimes important to get the drive working more quickly. Now we can try to scan the hard drive and then we can see the capacity has been restored to normal. We can try to scan the hard drive. Now the data error has been accessible and we can check the ending part of the drive see if all data has been recovered. Now we can see that so the drive has been recovered perfectly and users can go to the DFLDDP to get all the lost data back. DDP, open the DFLDDP data recovery program. Users can set up new project file extraction. So here, now users can get lost data back. Thank you for.